today we have a triple threat action figure review for you. And we have this thing, which I will explain what the hell that is. First off, we have the gentleman's gentleman, Alfred Goddamn Pennyworth. And we have the amazing Spider-Man from the new film, The Amazing Spider-Man. And we have the mighty Thor, who will smite thee with his awesome blue hammer thingy. Yeah. First off, we'll explain what this doohickey is. If you can't tell, it's Batman's grapple gun from the uh, Dark Knight Rises toy line. So you just pull it back and it shoots out these three darts. Now, an important safety tip. To quote the, uh, the instruction manual for, manual for this toy, it says this, and I quote, Do not aim toy at eyes or face. First up, we have Alfred Pennyworth. I'm surprised they actually make, uh, in the uh, Dark Knight Rises line, they actually made a supporting character like Alfred. I mean, I wish they did that with other action figure lines. You know, I, I've been dying to get my hands on a, a Lois Lane action figure for I don't know how long. Or, you know. But the Batman toy line seemed to do that. And, you know, I got Commissioner Gordon and now Alfred. So, that's a step in the right direction. If I may, sir, I would suggest kicking Bane in his tiny nuts. Alright, enough of that. The sculpt. Amazing. Maybe you can see it on my camera, but this figure looks exactly like Michael Caine. It is uncanny. You know? And uh, the suit is really nice. It's, you can see all the crinkles in his uh, suit. and His hair is very detailed. It's, you know, not realistic hair, but you know, painted on. But still, it's pretty damn amazing. Paint is awesome, like I just mentioned. Uh, his gray hair is uh, well detailed. Nice suit. You can't see it on my camera, but even his eyes, I think, have a color. Yeah. So, 5 out of 5 for your sculpt and paint. Very beautiful figure. Articulation is awesome. Let me show you. Heads on a ball joint. Arms can move out into the side, bicep swivel, elbow hinge, let's see, do his wrists move? I think his wrists move. Yeah. Waist swivel, thigh swivel, leg hinge, and his ankles can go up and down. Five out of five for articulation, you know, this is just a really good example of what an action figure should be. Highly detailed, and highly posable. Very nice figure. I got this at Toys R Us and for about, you know, I f fuck me, I forget the price, but here's the accessory. You might be asking what the hell this is. Uh but like if you collect all the the uh, figures in this line, you get one of these weird looking pieces. You assemble all the pieces and you'll make the bat signal, which is pretty cool. I think the other toys in this in this here line are uh, Batman and Bane. I'm not sure about Catwoman. Still looking for a Catwoman action figure. So yeah, that's Alfred. Man, Spider-Man, look at him. He's just a man. Play some games with the grudge. Gonna shit out some anal fudge. Oh no. All right, enough of that shit. Uh, this is from the Amazing Spider-Man movie. Sorry. I like the Amazing Spider-Man movie, but for the record, I still think the Tobey Maguire slash Sam Raimi Spider-Man is better. Although, the Amazing Spider-Man was still, you, you know, nice. And I also liked the Amazing Spider-Man video game. So, 
on to this bad boy. Sculpt is amazing. You can see like the individual webs in his costume. And uh, the paint is good. I don't know if it's just this figure, but the, maybe I think the blue is just slightly dark. And I think that's just uh, Spider-Man's new look. And uh, this is cool. You press the uh, spider on his chest and it'll set up the ten phases. It's web slinging time! Yeah, that's neat. And uh, he has... For, uh, um, what's it called? Accessories. Time to reload. Yeah, he randomly says that. I know he's going to say that in the middle of the night and I'm going to jump ten feet in the air and hit my head off the ceiling. But uh, he has this thing on his arm. Let me show you. And he has these uh, web projectiles. You stick it in the hole. That's what she said. Giggity. And uh, you press this red button here. And he, let me show you. He shoots it. it. Shoots the web noise. One thing that I kind of like and, and at the same time don't like about this. Time to reload. Yeah, he says that every, every time. Time to reload. Click, click. And this thing here is uh, it's cool that it shoots projectiles and, and lights up, but it's also a little bit of an eyesore, and uh, you can't can't take it off because it's screwed on. I thought about taking a screwdriver and just you know taking it off, but you know since there's a light in here, I'm going to assume there's a wire running through his arm, and just taking this thing off would break the damn thing, and I don't want to do that. Articulation is not as good as the Alfred figure. I was really disappointed that his head can't move. I mean, there's no lights or any like electronics in his head, so there is no reason why his head cannot move at all. It's not even stuck. There's it's just just the way it is. It's just molded that way. So that's kind of a disappointment that his head can't move. His arms can go up and down, and the uh, elbows swivel. Wrist swivel here works fairly decent. It sticks a lot. But on this hand, another reason why I don't like this thing, because you see his thumb is out like he's going to shoot a web, which is cool, but this thing like hinders it and stops it halfway through. No wrist swivels. Legs can move up and down, and a leg hinge. Disappointing that they can't go out to the side, you know, so you can do cool Spider-Man poses. So articulation is mm, about a three out of five. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good, cool little figure, but it could be better. This was about fifteen bucks at Toys R Us, so it's a pre pretty decent figure. So, there's Spider-Man. Moving on to the Mighty Thor. What's ironic is I haven't even seen the movie Thor. I've seen the Avengers, which was awesome, but I haven't seen Thor's movie. So if anyone wants to lend me a copy of their Thor movie, then I'd, I'd appreciate that. Sculpt is good. Looks exactly exactly like a Chris Helmsworth or whatever his name is, and costume looks cool. And you can see the crinkles in his cape here. Not realistic material, but you know it's a plastic cape. Colors are good. Yeah, the paint is good. Colors are awesome. I like how his hammer is uh, like a see-through. You know. Uh, articulation for this character is worse than Spider-Man. Arms and legs can only move up and down. No hinges, no wrist, swi wrist swivels or ankle swivels or anything like that. The accessories is obviously his hammer. And what's good and bad about it, this hammer is, uh, you can't take it out, it's permanently stuck in there. Oh, and with his, like, chest area, it's, like, hollowed out plastic so you can, like, see, th see through it. Pretty decent figure. I'd give it, like, a 3 out of 5. So, there's the haul of the day. I hope you enjoyed. I'm boring the crap out of myself talking. 
and we'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah.